From a wild flood in Italy that washed away dozens of cars, and raging rapids in northern India that sent locals running for the high ground, to a powerful debris flow in Utah that filled a dried up riverbed, and a disaster in coastal Turkey that left an entire city underwater. Here are 10 devastating flash floods caught on camera. Genoa, Italy is the capital city of the Liguria region. Home to over 550,000 people, it's the sixth largest city in Italy with its metro area stretching along the Italian Riviera. Its position on the Ligurian Sea makes it one of the most important trade cities in the Mediterranean. In fact, it's the busiest port in Italy and the sixth busiest in the EU. That same position makes them highly susceptible to storms and flash floods. Genoa got it especially bad during the 2011 European floods, which were caused by a series of tropical storms coming off the Mediterranean Sea. On November 4th, footage from the streets of Genoa revealed how destructive these floods truly were. Genoa wasn't alone in this fight either. Over 500 millimeters of rain fell between Tuscany and Greater Liguria. All that water quickly overwhelmed the rivers, which led to widespread flooding. Italian Premier Silvio Berlusconi believed building in floodplains was partly to blame, saying there was construction in areas where there shouldn't have been. As the water receded, the streets were left covered in debris and overturned cars. A bridge over the Pelice stream collapsed, and several ports were filled with mud and debris. Footage like this circled the globe, showing cars floating down streets and people wading through knee-deep water. Many lost their ground floor homes and businesses. In mid-August of 2021, Bozkurt, Turkey experienced its worst flash flood event in years. The small Black Sea town was built around the Izine stream. It's home to about 5,300 people who live within a few miles of the Black Sea. The Turkish flood felt like the cherry on top of a disaster-filled summer. There were heat waves in Italy and Russia, further flooding in Belgium and Germany. Oh, and uh, not to mention a global pandemic throwing a monkey wrench in everyone's plans. Some Turkish stations recorded 16 inches of rain in 48 hours. Others saw 5 inches falling every 60 minutes. It didn't help that Bozkurt was downstream from the Kure Mountains. Water rushed through a logging area south of town, which quickly clogged the stream and caused water to spill out. Video footage shows why they were among the hardest hit during the storm. <laughs> Ben ne yapıyorsun? 
Abi basıyor şu an o çay bak sizin oradan hep suyu açıyor. Şuraya bak şuraya bak şuraya bak aldığım ya Rabbi. Orada da şu an orada da şu an burayı da bastı şu an şimdi. Bizim taraftık ya bu taraftık içinde kalktık. Buraya bak sizin Allah'ım ya Rabbi. Kimseyi bırakma orada insanları koru. Ah gitti burası da gitti. Ay tövbe estağfurullah. Çok kötü. All that water quickly overflowed the Izine stream. In some areas around Bozgurt, the water levels rose by 13 feet. Cars were dragged down the road and those with first floor homes and businesses likely lost everything. In the end, the mayor of Bozkurt said the town was destroyed in a way that cannot be described. At one point, 300 villages were left without power. Vehicles were left overturned in the streets. Thick coatings of mud filled most ground level buildings. Mandi is a small Indian city in Himachal Pradesh. It sits about 90 miles north of the state capital and is home to over 26,000 people. It is a fast developing city and one of India's best performing local economies. Still, it maintains much of its historical character and charm. Unfortunately, some of that charm got washed away in July of 2023 when a raging flash flood ripped through the city. India is known for having some of the worst rainstorms in the world. All of that water quickly overflows the rivers. Since many cities in Himachal Pradesh are built near hills and mountainsides, they are highly susceptible to landslides like this one. <laughs> According to our cameraman, a lake had formed atop a hill overlooking the city. Local authorities warned everyone that a landslide was imminent, so they sought higher ground. He owned a small street-level shop and lost plenty of merchandise when the mud and debris roared through. Local reports said this storm was the wettest July day in over 40 years, with six inches of rain falling on the area. While Mandi was among the hardest-hit cities, other places around Himachal Pradesh suffered during the storm. In preparation for more rain, about 2,000 people had to be evacuated. Little Falls is a township in northern New Jersey, about 13 miles outside of Newark. It's home to just over 13,000 people and is named after a tiny waterfall on the Passaic River. While locals usually appreciate the riverside views, they were running for higher ground in August of 2018. Heavy rain battered New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania for several days and nights. The roads quickly flooded, leaving many drivers stranded in their cars. A few miles north, in the neighboring town of Caldwell, New Jersey, the owners of a car dealership watched their inventory float away like river barges. Locals recording on the Route 46 overpasses couldn't believe their eyes.
Look at the nice cars too. By the end, over a dozen cars had washed away from the dealership and piled like a dam against the bridge. Route 46 Chrysler Jeep Dodge was downstream from harder hit areas. By the time the water reached their parking lot, it was too late to save any of their cars. The storm had finally subsided and a towing company safely removed the cars. They wound up pulling 16 new vehicles out of the water that day. They were filled with mud, muck, and all kinds of debris. The governor declared a state of emergency in five counties, saying they received a month's worth of rain in about 48 hours. The Chamoli disaster is one of the worst natural catastrophes in Indian history. It began on February 7th of 2021, near the outer Garhwal Himalayas in the Indian state of Uttarakhand. A massive cluster of rocks and ice broke free from Mount Ronti, causing two rivers to flood and overflow. Those combined to overwhelm the Alaknanda River, which is the major headstream of the Ganges, the main river that flows through India. Locals near the mountainside recorded the torrent as it rushed through the valley, destroying everything in sight. <laughs> Early reports blamed a glacial lake outburst flood, which is when water trapped behind a glacier breaches the natural dam. It seemed like the obvious suspect, as Himalayan glacial lakes are growing in both size and number. But these theories were quickly proven wrong. According to satellite imagery, a glacier the size of 15 football fields broke from the mountain and plummeted into the river systems below. The deluge was so powerful that it wiped out five bridges, some as high as 40 feet. 
The flood also cut off access to 13 villages in dire need of supplies and rescue. The summer of 2023 was unlike any other when it came to floods in China. Monsoons, typhoons, and intense rainfall battered the country, leaving countless people wading through water. By July 29th, 16 cities and provinces had experienced record-breaking rainfall and flooding. The culprit? Typhoon Doxuri. The Chinese capital of Beijing experienced its heaviest rainfall in 140 years. They saw nearly seven months worth of rain in three days. Footage from around the city puts all that rainfall into perspective. <laughs> It is astonishing to watch all those cars floating down river like bath toys. In some of these shots, it's hard to tell where the river ends and the road begins. Everything was underwater. More than 1.8 billion cubic meters of water, according to reports. Flooding affected at least 1.5 million people, with the rural districts of Beijing getting the worst of it. Economic losses exceeded $13.2 billion making Doxery one of the costliest natural disasters in Chinese history. Homes were washed away. Hundreds of thousands of acres of agricultural land were underwater. Officials said it would take at least two years to rebuild. At that point, where do you even start? On August 7th of 2023, locals in the Norwegian town of Hemsedal got a frightening warning. The Norwegian Meteorological Institute issued a red danger warning as Storm Hans approached the country. That meant extremely heavy rainfall in parts of southern Norway. In some areas, it was the worst rainstorm in 25 years. Entire towns had to be evacuated as unrelenting rain battered the Nordic country. At the height of the storm, a dam burst on the Glama, southern Norway's largest river. The wave of water triggered landslides and even more catastrophic flooding. It also washed away several homes, including these structures that weren't meant to float downriver.
While this flood happened in early August, it wasn't without prior warning. Monthly rainfall in July was 300% above the historical average. That trend carried into August, with rain falling daily for the first 10 days. Storm Hans wreaked havoc across Europe. It flooded multiple towns, took the roofs off of houses, and caused widespread disruptions. Ironically, it came during a summer that began with destructive wildfires across northern Europe. Where was all that water when they needed it? Moab, Utah is a small city near the Colorado border. It's a popular mountain biking town as thrill seekers can ride a network of challenging paths, including Slick Rock Trail. However, they're better known for their strategic location near the Colorado River. Before the railroads were built, Moab was a popular place to cross for those heading west to California. On July 28th of 2021, a thunderstorm blanketed the Moab area. Heavy rain flooded the streams coming off the Colorado River and flowing through town. Water rushed through nearby canyons and blocked traffic on Highway 191. One local positioned themselves near a dry riverbed and recorded as the water came flowing through. What you're looking at used to be a dry creek running from the Colorado River toward the town center. Creeks like this have a way of drying up in the hot summer months, but spontaneous rainfall like the Moab storm can cause them to fill up again. It's amazing how fast the water rushes downhill and carves new paths in the dry ground. The city manager said the July flood was a 100-year storm. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it happens every 100 years, just that it has a 1% chance of happening in any given year. Coincidentally, Moab had another 100-year flood about 13 months later. Frankfurt, Germany is the fifth most populous city in the country, behind places like Berlin, Hamburg, and Munich. It's one of the world's most important financial hubs and among the top three cities for international companies after Paris and London. Needless to say, there is a lot of money flowing through Frankfurt, Germany. But in August of 2023, there was a lot of water. That's because downpours across the southern part of Germany led to hundreds of flooded basements and streets. But people's basements weren't the only underground areas to fill with murky water. Let's just say travelers at the Zutbahnhof train station had to wring their socks out.
This was the scene all around Frankfurt, Germany. Things got scary at the Frankfurt International Airport. They had to cancel dozens of flights after the tarmac flooded, leaving many flyers stranded until further notice. This wasn't the first time floods affected the German subway system either. In July of 2021, freak floods caused $1.5 billion worth of damage. Now, we're not sure how much damage the 2023 floods caused, but we imagine all that broken glass isn't cheap. Wrightwood, California is a small town in the San Bernardino Valley. It sits about 6,000 feet above sea level in the San Gabriel Mountains and is about 70 miles northeast of Los Angeles. While most locals have to worry about wildfires in the summer, something else was on their minds in late August of 2023. Hurricane Hillary was on her way to town. The Category 4 hurricane broke records in four states as one of the wettest tropical cyclones in history. On August 20th, Hillary landed on the Baja Peninsula in Mexico. Meanwhile, up in Wrightwood, a father and his kids watched her remnants roll down the mountain. Deep canyon wash. That is all avalanche debris from this winter. It's just kind of getting walked up at every check dam and then it's gonna release again and head farther down. In the days leading up to Hillary, the National Hurricane Center issued its first ever tropical storm warning for Southern California. They believed more than a year's worth of rain could fall in some areas, causing 26 million people across three states to go under flood watch. Hurricanes are extremely rare in California. The last one before Hillary was a tropical storm back in September of 1939. They're rare because the currents and water are too cold. The winds also aren't conducive to hurricanes. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.